dog or a toad what's the first thing you think of when you hear loud croaking calls or see long leg jumpers well you may think that the animals are obviously frogs but all the animals that croak are not frogs it could be a toad too but the long leg jumpers are certainly frogs can you tell the difference between a frog and a toad let me tell you we are two friends i am mr frog and my friend is mr toad we both are amphibians with some similarities and a few important differences we begin our lives in water hatched from jelly like eggs into tadpoles with long tail then while living in the water the tadpoles go through a series of body changes called metamorphosis the end result is a frog or a toad without the tail unlike fish and reptiles neither mr toad nor i have scales we both have water tight skin let me tell you something about our food we too feel hungry we have to struggle to catch our prey both of us have long sticky tongues that can flick out fast to catch bugs we also eat other wiggly and juicy things like worms and slugs depending on the size and species we might also eat tiny fish and other small animals both of us usually swallow our food whole gulp gulp isn't it interesting we both may look similar to the average person but those with good knowledge about animals and a careful eye for observation can easily spot the differences toad has much drier and bumpier skin and plumper body i usually have a moist smooth skin that needs water to keep from drying out i tend to be thinner allowing me to glide quickly through the water toads can live farther away from water sources than we frogs can because they have tougher skin that doesn't dry out as fast as our skin would our hind limbs are longer and stronger than our fore limbs both of us have stronger hind limbs i have long and webbed feet whereas toad has shorter feet with separated toes my webbed feet along with the longer legs makes me a much better swimmer i can leap longer than my friend toad isn't it amazing our main predators are snakes owls skunks hawks and raccoons we are not very good at fighting but we are excellent at hiding we spend a lot of time beneath rocks logs in crevices or buried in the soil we also have great camouflage using both color and texture to blend with the surroundings we can leap away when provoked some of us emit a loud screech some of us secrete some kind of toxin produced in our skin to deter predators from eating us next time you see a four legged amphibian swimming through the water or hopping across your backyard take a closer look to determine if it is a frog or a toad do you know we are friends of farmers we eat insects that harm the crops but we fear people they catch us to make delicacies all human beings must value our life after all we are your tiny friends